I boil it down to three simple physiologic systems. There's the nervous system, the endocrine system, of course, and there's the cardiovascular system. So <clears throat> when you're on steroids, anabolic, androgenic agents, you're, you're, you're going to have your exogenous levels of steroids go up and it affects your brain. Your endogenous testosterone is down. Your testicles are being shut down. Now, this is the whole incredible, the amazing piece of this. They understand this piece alone. What's not understood is that if you have depression, if you have any form of anxiety or depression going into the use of steroids, your central nervous system, the, neur the neurologic aspect of this presentation is key. Serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, up and down. Men that have even mild bipolar depression, they do steroids, mania, then they can be hypersexual and they come off, they're crashing off. Every man's HDL is going to go down on steroids. And some men, not all men, have, have LDL going up and down. And they may not have a heart attack, obviously, when they're young. These young men feel confident that it's not going to happen to them. It's very clear. That's why the penis doesn't work. That's why we have Viagra. And of course, Viagra won't just work for the penis because these are young men and they don't have intrinsic vascular disease where they have depleted nitric oxide. But when they're on and off steroids, they do. And that's why it becomes a unique set of symptoms, a unique set of pathophysiologic paradigms with what you've done. In the end of the day, men have sexual issues off steroids and they have a condition called anabolic steroid induced hypogonadism. They have poor libidos, the brains, they don't feel horny. They have erectile dysfunction. I explained it. Door number one, stop everything. You have to stop the steroids. Most men come in and they said, Doc, I've already stopped. Now you have to help me. Thank you so much. Okay, well, how long have you stopped? Is it a week? Is it a month? Is it a year? It could take up to one year. You're off steroids and androgens, and now we're doing different types of PCT. If your brain reconnects with your testicles and your penis, a reconnection time. But if you have depression or anxiety or other comorbid medical issues, heart disease, any type of disease, this is going to be confounding. When you take anabolic steroids, it's going to affect your sex. In the beginning, it'd probably be great. Please understand for young men out there, if you start these drugs, you may never ever stop them. You may regret what you've done in your recovery period. I really hope this helps the world. Thank you so much.